girl with no name. On October 30th, 2022, a post was made onto the r slash tip of my joystick subreddit by a user who goes by Beerbelly Bros, who is in search for a game that seems to have vanished completely, the mysterious game being titled Girl With No Name. So I have the title, right? It's called Girl With No Name, but I can't find it anywhere. I seriously think nobody knows this game besides me. The game took place in a city, and you would constantly walk past a girl who sat on the bench and fed the birds. You would strike up a conversation with her and ask her where her parents were. She would tell you she didn't know, blah blah blah. Each day she started to look worse and worse, with eye bags and dirty hair and dirty clothes. The style of the game was 8-bit. The girl had her blonde or brown hair in pigtails and wore overalls or something. The ending of the game would be that she disappeared, and nobody would know what you were talking about when you asked. The guilt of not helping her and the feeling of being crazy combined and you would slip into madness. This game was a PC only game, and was pretty dark. The only colour in the game was the girl. Not even the main character had colour. Nobody had names in the game, and there was nothing besides walking past that girl, talking and going home to sleep. I really hope I can find this game again, it's been on my mind for years. A very interesting concept for a game. The post gained a lot of interest and attention. This game sounded awfully familiar to a lot of users. Many suggestions and ideas would pour into the comment section. However, it seemed that no one could find the game. Not a single user could bring up the game itself or even evidence of its existence, despite the original poster apparently knowing the title of the game. Perhaps one of you watching this are familiar with the game here. Have you seen this lost game? Toy Story 2 Ultimate Toy Box Costco DVD with High Fidelity Clips the Ultimate Toy Box is a 3 disc DVD set released October 17th in the year 2000, which incorporates Toy Story, Toy Story 2, and a bonus disc which includes bonus features. During the release, a thousand copies of this Ultimate Toy Box set were shipped off to different Costco stores, which had a pressing error on the Toy Story 2 disc which would make the middle of the film cut to a scene from the R-rated movie High Fidelity. The scene that it cut to included multiple uses of the F word. ABC News would quickly report the situation. The defective discs were discovered after a Redmond Washington mother bought the DVD in a three disc set for her two young sons at a Costco chain store in Kirkland, a town just east of Seattle. Ryan Ward, five, and his brother Nathan, nine, were watching Toy Story 2 a G-rated film that centers around the adventures of a toy cowboy named Woody and his other plaything friends. After about 45 minutes, the boy's mother, Janie Ward, says the movie changed dramatically. We were watching Toy Story 2, and it turned to a real movie show, said Ryan. I didn't like it at all, Nathan said. After many complaints flowing in, Costco would of course pull the DVD packs off store shelves, and this issue was obviously later fixed. And that's when the lost media comes in. Despite so many reports and conversation on this processing error, actual footage or visual evidence of this DVD error hasn't resurfaced. There is only one fake mock-up on YouTube. It's pretty easy to find the Ultimate Toy Box DVD set online for sale, you can find a bunch being sold for a relatively cheap price. However, finding a DVD set which actually contains this error inside is extremely rare. Remember, it's estimated only a thousand copies of the error were sold to the public, with these copies being reported from around Kirkland, Washington, Utah, and Los Angeles. And that brings us to the question, have you seen this piece of lost media? Do you maybe happen to own this specific DVD error set? The Hopkins 
The Hopkins, which is also referred to as the Nicktoon family, is an extremely rare and obscure show. It was a series of one minute long animated shorts produced by Studio Moshi, which aired on Nickelodeon Australia starting late 2005. From March to June 2005, a competition was held known as the Search for the Nicktoon Family, with the grand prize of this competition being animated into a Nicktoon. Nickelodeon had been searching for a family to animate that was quote, representative of modern Australia and reflective in a positive sense of what families are all about. Out of the 5,000 entries, the Hopkins family from Ferntree Gully, Victoria had won the competition and would have the characters in the show modelled after them. The show premiered on December 16th, 2005 on the Savo programming block. And since then, no footage from the show has resurfaced. It has become completely lost. I already talked about this in a past video, but I'm just so fascinated by this series. It's actually insane to me how quite literally no footage of this show exists. No small clips or even images of the show have resurfaced. We do know what the logo to the series looks like, and we do have some promotional art for the show. This came from the Nickelodeon Australia website through the Internet Archive. This is great that this exists, as it gives us an insight as to what this show would have looked like, but this isn't actually from the show, just promotional art. There is still no footage or images of the actual series. Do any of you remember watching this? Big Brother UK 2002 Incident on my 40 fascinating cases of lost media video, I received a really interesting comment regarding some incident involving Big Brother UK. Big Brother UK 2002 contained a really weird incident in the live feed, one night which seemed to be buried without any further mention anywhere that I ever knew of. It was the first series to feature extensive live footage almost every night on Channel 4 as filler between around midnight up until 4 or 5 a.m. This one particular night, there were a few housemates chatting in the garden. Whenever conversation became unsuitable for broadcast, usually for legal reasons, the sound would be cut and ambient outdoor noise would play. But this particular night, you could faintly hear the housemates talking beneath it. The live audio was leaking through the sensor, some 99% of it was indecipherable, but you could tell that it was heavy stuff from the somber facial expressions. This went on for an extremely long time, maybe an hour or two. Then, some very stern apologies began to appear. There were various captions overlaid on the live feed, and also captions appearing during the ad breaks. The continuity announcer even chipped in with apologies but they were all worded so seriously. I mean, gravely seriously. As though a severe crime had been committed. They didn't allude to what the apology was exactly for, but they referenced severely offensive material which may have inadvertently been audible. It always stuck with me, because it seemed like something major had happened. But then, nothing was ever mentioned of it ever again. The show was at its height of popularity. The media covered every little thing that happened on the show. Yet this just passed. Nobody mentioned it. Yet Channel 4 seemed freaked out that they had broadcast something awful. It was one of the strangest things I have ever seen on TV. Yet it instantly disappeared without trace. Very bizarre. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say about this. I just saw this comment and thought it would fit well within this video, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Encarnacion Bechaves Yep, I've already talked about Encarnacion Bechaves around 6 months ago in a past video. Since I've last talked about it, nothing of it has been found. There has been no updates. If some of you are unaware with what this is, Encarnacion Bechaves is a flower shop located in Manila, Philippines. And from the early 90s to early 2000s, a commercial for this flower shop was aired on ABC5 
RPA9 and as well possibly IBC13. The commercial is famous for being unintentionally disturbing to viewers, and to this day, no copy of it has resurfaced and been uploaded online. The commercial featured a lady facing away from the camera, and would turn to it smiling through dishevelled hair, holding a rose. Many users online who remember watching this commercial when it actually aired, state that this specific scene was terrifying. An amazing mock-up of this commercial was recently done by a YouTube user who goes by Luke Inspire. When the occasion becomes special, you can make it more special with flowers from Encarnacion de Chavez. Encarnacion de Chavez. When you want to show how much you really care, Absolutely eerie. I really hope one day that this commercial becomes found. We know so much about it and so many people know about it. We even know information in regards to when exactly this commercial would air. It's just so frustrating that no one has come forth with an archive yet after all this time. Hopefully one day though, we see this commercial finally surface. SpongeBob SquarePants Baseball Lecture Animation In February 2018, a post was made onto the Lost Media Wiki forums by a user who goes by SoupNerd, talking about an obscure SpongeBob Baseball Lecture Animation. Back in 2005, I was on a trip with my family and some friends in Texas. While we were there, we stopped by a baseball game. Before the game started, an animation played of Spongebob giving a lecture about having fun. I don't remember much about it, but I know for a fact that a Spongebob animation played before the baseball game started. The thing is, I have been unable to find it anywhere online. If that wasn't perplexing enough, I heard something back then that there was also an Incredibles animation that played at one point a while ago, but I doubt that holds true at all. The hunt is on. Very peculiar, this post was made all the way back in 2018. It's been over 5 years since this post was made and still to this day, no evidence of this animation ever existing has come to light. L Supersonic Q did a video on this topic, and upon research discovered that back in 2004, Major League Baseball had its own mascot that would come on screen during games, explaining different rules. This mascot was voiced by Tom Kenny, the voice of Spongebob. Could it be possible that SuperNerd maybe simply misremembered this mascot as a Spongebob short? Memory can be weird like that. After some time away, SuperNerd would return to the post thread. I did some digging on what the baseball stadium in particular was, and I'm still gonna have to do some more digging. I know for a fact that it was in Dallas, Texas, I have one photo though. The fact that this stadium is a smaller stadium and was more than likely a minor league and not the majors has led me to believe that it was done unofficially. On the other hand, before they played the short, they did play a small amount of the show's intro, starting with Painty the Pirate and everything. I'm gonna have to ask other people who were there that day to see if they remember anything else. I did do a bit of research on this last year and actually found the stadium on Instagram, but I forgot its name. A user known as Strong Fox did some research onto what stadium this was. It seems to be the Dr. Pepper ballpark, based on cross-referencing images of the stadium to the picture OP posted. Dr. Pepper ballpark also opened in 2003, which fits the time frame of 2005. Strong Fox also discovered about 5 or 6 minor league stadiums had a Nickelodeon night, and there was even a minor league Nickelodeon night tour that happened over in 2019. Obviously, this happened at a much more recent time frame, not anywhere near 2005, but this is more evidence towards this being an official Nickelodeon thing instead of a one-off unofficial bootleg type of thing, and more evidence to this actually being a real thing and not a false memory. Maybe they had a Nickelodeon night back in 2005 and it just wasn't documented at all. 
Do any of you watching this remember seeing the Spongebob animation? Can you milk a mouse? In the Lost Commercial subreddit, a post was created by a user who would discuss a commercial they can't seem to find anywhere. I don't know if this is the right subreddit for this, but whatever. Anyway, I remember seeing a commercial as a kid. I was about 3 or so, so maybe it was 2007, 2008, possibly 2009 at the latest. That advertised milk. Nothing special. Except that it begins with someone asking, can you milk a mouse? And then it cuts to this very odd scene of someone trying to milk a mouse. I can barely remember it, but it scared me at the time, so I can remember how I felt watching it. And then it cuts back to a family at a breakfast table. Someone asks, can you milk a mouse? As they're enjoying their breakfast, with milk. And I remember nothing else. But now that I look for it for nostalgia reasons, I can't find a trace of its existence on the internet. I don't know if I completely imagined it or if anyone else remembers it, but I guess that's what I'm there for. Maybe I should have specified, but I'm from America. Sounds very interesting. Do any of you watching this remember seeing this commercial? The Blue Chin Guy on April 5th, 2023, Somber Bogley, I believe, who was also the YouTuber Kylie, had posted onto the Lost Media subreddit, with the hopes that maybe someone within this subreddit could help in finding a late 80s, early 90s video which contained a blue person with an uncannily long chin. Kylie has been on the search for this video for almost three years now. People remember this video, but no one can find it. This is what the post read. This started out years ago as an r slash tip of my tongue style post. But at this point, I think it's safe to consider it lost media. I made a post on RBI five months ago and multiple commenters remembered it. And even though it got a decent amount of attention, no one was able to find it. I made a video regarding the search almost a year ago. Some commenters also recall it but about 30k views on it later and no one has been able to hunt this thing down. In 2020, my mum randomly brought up this unsettling childhood memory of hers, of watching TV when this music video played that showed a person painted blue with an abnormally long chin. Lost media has been an interest of mine for years now, and I used to frequent tip of my tongue to solve other people's posts for the fun of it, so I wanted to find this for my mum. After looking around that night, I found nothing. So I made my own tip of my tongue post expecting it to be found. Well, it wasn't. I've made posts here and there hoping this time it'll be the time someone finds it, but it's always been to no avail. I've contacted 80s, 90s media archivists, other YouTubers in my similar niche, artists from that time period. I've even had dreams where I find him. I just want to see this thing with my own eyes. Here is what we know. The video was very vivid in color, with a tropical-like setting. Blue Chin Guy's chin was long enough to be prosthetic. He was wearing a dress or skirt and a tall hat, similar to certain cultures, religions, and gods in Egyptian Hindu mythology. He was sitting on the floor, most likely on a pillow. None of this sounds odd besides the long chin, until he tilts his head to the side and gives a freaky smile to the camera. That smile is what scared her, and is what seems to have scared others who remember it. Another user specifically said he looked like he would munch on your kidney, so there's that. Most people recalled seeing it in the early 90s, like 1990, 1992. I wouldn't completely rule out 1987 to 1989 though. 1993, my mum would have been going on 11 years old, which she thinks is way too late. Most people also recall it being a commercial, not a music video. One other person besides my mum remembers a music video, so I honestly think they could be misremembering an advert with music in the background since all of these have been foggy childhood memories. A user specifically said they remembered it being a travel tourist commercial. This person grew up in the UK, so it would have had to have aired there as well. Yeah, possibly by including this piece of lost media in this video, more eyes and publicity is put onto the search.
and hopefully this long mystery can finally be put to rest. A few things that have been debunked as not the blue chin guy include Mac Tonight, Flabber from Beetleborts, Jambi the Genie, and the movie Nightbreed. That's just to name a few debunked things you maybe had in mind. If you have any idea as to what this blue chin guy video could be, perhaps make a comment on Kylie's original blue chin guy video, or get into contact with Kylie maybe, I don't know. I just know that commenting here wouldn't be best as, you know, I can't confirm or deny anything as I haven't seen it. Giving Peppa Pig Death Surgery Video This next entry on the list is a bit silly and funny. Probably gonna be the last entry for this video, you know, the, the little cherry on top. In 2019, this screenshot of this YouTube video was uploaded onto the Young People YouTube subreddit. The screenshot was of a video titled, I Gave Peppa Pig Death Surgery, by a user who goes by Peppa Pig Sucks. In the screenshot, we can clearly see Peppa Pig getting... death surgery. It's a pretty funny screenshot. It blew up on the subreddit, and would make its way around the internet as a meme. However, the Peppa Pig Sucks channel was eventually deleted, and the actual video itself has become lost. The video hasn't been archived at all, and there is no way to watch Peppa Pig getting death surgery. There are other screenshots which show that this Peppa Pig Sucks user went on a whole rampage. Multiple different videos were uploaded by this user. However, all of them are now lost. 